speaker is Toastmaster Henry Batista. Henry will be presenting his icebreaker as well on the power of the question, taking us through his early childhood up to the present day. Let's welcome Henry Batista. Good morning, Toastmaster. Good morning. Good morning. This first part of our icebreaker is a little interactive, so I need your help. Everyone say, focus. 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 Now, kids, there are three parts of focus. Everyone say, eyes. Eyes. Ears. Ears. And body. Body. Wait, guys, that was kind of late. I think we'll be better. Everyone say, eyes. Eyes. Toastmasters, my name again is Henry Batista. I'm 19 years old and I have around 5,000 hours of experience working with kids as a martial arts instructor. And my hope is that if I'm able to entertain a room full of three and four year olds for 30 minutes, <laughs> hopefully I can entertain you guys for a fraction of that time. Now, in reflecting for this speech, looking back on my early childhood, from the outside, it was kind of boring. Because it was really good. It was a little perfect. Mm. I had a loving father. I had a loving mother. I had a fantastic sister. Awesome friends that would hang out. And to add that cherry on the top, to top it off, I was kind of the perfect son. <laughs> I, uh, just wanted to make my parents proud. I had straight A's in school. I was the best student, the best son. And it even got so bad to the point where, in class, I was known as everyone's least favorite student, the teacher's pet. <laughs> I know. <laughs> During tests, exams, kids wouldn't even dare to cheat because I would rat you out oh so fast. Oh. I know, I know, I'm sorry. I've learned, I've learned. But, <laughs> With that being said, I really loved following the rules, and I was really good at doing it. I was as straight as any other. To the point where 8th and ninth grade, I skipped those years, and I dual enrolled going into my community college in 10th grade as a pre-med student. My parents, they wanted me to be a doctor, and I wanted to specialize in some kind of practice to make them proud. Again, I just wanted what my parents thought was best for me. And then everything changed March of 2020, mm. the pandemic happened. And I would form a question that would alter my entire life. The power of a question. Is this what I really want to do? Am I living for myself or am I living for my parents? Do I have what it takes to go through nine years of medical school, take on crippling student loan debt, and have virtually no social life. Is this what I want to do? My favorite quote from Orson Scott goes like this. This is how humans are. We question all our beliefs, except for the ones that we really believe in. And those, we never think to question. COVID-19 and the lockdown gave me the time to reflect on my life and what I was doing. And then it took a turn for the worse, at least for my parents. I became every Gen X parent's absolute worst nightmare. At 18 years old, I dropped out of college. I moved out of my parents' house to live with roommates and to work at a karate studio. Kind of weird. <laughs> I was meeting people and entrepreneurs that were changing the way that I viewed everything. The way I viewed the world, the way I viewed society, and the way that I viewed even myself. Again, what did I want in life? To, to drop out at 18. It was kind of funny because I woke up a few months ago to this sound. <laughs> 
called out to my roommate, Zach. Zach, is that you? <laughs> he said, no, that's not me. And then I realized, oh, I'm hungry. I didn't eat food yet. <laughs> so I got out of my bed and I waddled over to my brand new refrigerator in my brand new apartment. And I opened it up. In four, there was no food in my refrigerator. No one told me that my food wouldn't just magically <laughs> There was no food there. I was like, what? And on top of that, it gets even worse. A few weeks later, the first of the month rolls around, and I had to pay how much in rent? <laughs> how much did I have to pay in utilities just to live in a small space? The entrepreneur mindset grindset videos I had watched never prepared me for that. <laughs> <laughs> Why do what I did? And the answer is to help other kids like myself. One day I hope to start my own karate studio and give, give kids the same confidence, the same critical thinking skills to be able to question the things in their life. So that when their 55 year old dad walks up to them and says, son, your mother and I are not happy with the direction your life is going in. That kid has the confidence to say, dad, I'm really sorry to hear that. This is what I want to do. This is what I'm passionate about, and here's how I'm going to get there. So with that being said, thank you Toastmasters for giving me your eyes, your ears, and your body, and focusing on me this morning. Thank you.